now I will unmute. Welcome to the show, Miss hey, Kiara Doug. Thompson. How you doing? Hello, darling. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, now, this is your debut appearance. You've never been on the show. Uh, nope. And I don't know how many times you've seen the show. Maybe not a lot. but um, Or maybe a lot. I don't know. Uh, but uh, what I use, I've done, I don't know, maybe like a thousand interviews. Uh, and so, I'm <laughs> not kidding. But, but um, what I usually do with a new guest is instead of me introduce them, which I very well could do, um, I like to let them introduce themselves to the audience uh, and tell them, uh, the audience, how they got here. Obviously, I invited you, but I mean, you know, how they got in this space, how they got to be a streamer or an activist or whatever, you know, field they're in, right? Uh, you're a streamer. Uh, how'd you get into this? Uh, first of all, uh, thanks for having me. You're Second welcome. of all, um, this is almost against my better judgment, and I have not watched uh, any of your streams, but uh, you, uh, you're you very popular or unpopular with people, so I thought, why not? Let's just give it a shot. How I got here, I'm not sure. Uh, I started streaming because uh, uh, I'm a comic, and uh, Chrissy Mayer um, was like, you really should do uh, a live stream, a live podcast stream. So I do Keanu Cast uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and then a stream with Chrissy called Nightlife on Thursdays, and uh, that's the long and short of it. So. That's true. I am unpopular with a lot of people, but I'm popular with some people too. I, you know, that's I kinda, what I'm saying. So yeah, I yeah, said, let me just yeah. go and make my own decision. Yeah, and I, I, I felt like you felt, uh, you thought I was gonna like uh, ambush you or something like that, or like, uh, you know, come out here and just start cutting a promo on you or something like that. Um, and that's not, I don't do that uh, to to interview guests. I, I, I run a straight ship uh, when it comes to uh, interviews and stuff like that. I can handle myself, but yes. Uh, I was I was a bit scared because uh, yeah, and I didn't you know what I didn't look into it enough. So I I uh, I said let me just make my own decision. But you know you seem like a nice gentleman. So well, thank you. Uh, I don't know if everybody thinks that, but I appreciate you uh, saying yes, that. Yes, uh, a lot of people don't apparently. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm a complicated guy, a little contradictory sometimes uh, in my in my life. But I think uh, a lot of people are that way. Most people are, actually. Uh, yeah, we're but, all shades of gray. We're all a walking contradiction every once in a while, like the Green Day song, right? That's right. That's right. And I like that quote. Uh, and so you're also uh, about to get married to Gino Bisconti. Uh, that's right. And it's funny because, you know, I never had any real beef with Gino but uh, I used to be really tight with Pat Dix, and, and I haven't talked to him in a mm. while. And um, that's another thing. Yes, Gino did mention, and he would never stop me from doing anything. But I mean, right after uh, Pat Dixon shattered his jaw, you went ahead and had Pat on. So yeah, well, I was already friends. I was nice. already friends yeah. with Pat when that happened, right? And he was already kind of a fixture on the show. Pat kind of like like he left me hanging. Honestly, like he doesn't really come on the show anymore. Uh, and you don't need him in your life. Well, you know, I, I won't trash him, but I thought that was a kind of a, a bitch move, to be honest, because we had him on and promoted pr promoted him a lot, uh, especially during that, you know, uh, scandal, what, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I took his side. A because felony? He, I'd call it a felony. Yeah, I mean, it was bad. But, but I took yeah. his side because he was my friend, right? And I was like, you know what? Uh, you know, I didn't know Gino at all. And it's like, well, this is my guy. You know, I'm taking his side. And, I you know, you. he, he kind of dropped me like a hot rock. Uh, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to trash him. But I did think that was a little little low class of him, uh, to be honest. Uh, but uh, regardless, uh, yeah, I had so I had a couple run-ins with Gino. And he was mad because I would said some things, you know, on the show. But yeah. I, I don't really, you know, uh, know him. We talked a little bit. I almost went on one of his streams one time um, hmm. because I told him. I was like, I don't even really talk to Pat anymore. Like, he kind of dropped good. me. So, good. Um, but, um, but yeah, but I won't trash Pat. I won't trash Pat. But uh, I, I know... Um, that was a that was a big thing uh, for Gino, uh, and um, I don't know how much you know about. Were, were you with him when that when that when that happened, or we were not dating at the time. We had boned casually uh, before <laughs> that, but um, no, that is uh, before we started like officially dating. Yes, um, and I uh, think he saw me like react because I always had a thing for Gino. He saw me reacting to the to that because I didn't know about it on a. Uh, a live stream i think uh chrissy on uh simcast showed the video and he was yeah. like oh my god she likes me because i was just so disgusted by it yeah and then um a while after that then we were like why are we dating uh morons let's just uh date each other now we're now we're betrothed so 
That's correct. Now, uh, when if you do, do you know the exact date of the nuptials, or or I, I know you've been yeah, talking about it's this fall. This I know fall. I don't want to say the exact yeah. I'm about to say I, I was about to say be careful. Don't say the exact date. There's a lot of uh, people who might be able to track down anything. Uh, and so just God. be careful. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I understand that completely. Um, but um, yeah. So yeah, you know, I, I guess I'll just go ahead and apologize to Gino because I really didn't have anything uh, to do with that. I was just backing up my guy, and you know, yeah, I, did, I hear I did, you. I did yes. say a few things, but like it was nothing personal. I don't have any. I will give him your shit. regards. Yeah, he actually he, is at a uh, tux fitting right now. Yeah, so let, let him know though, because you know, I was just backing up my guy, and again, I'm not going to trash Pat either. But he kind of just right. cut ties, and I felt like that was a little shady after I backed him up through all that. But yeah. You, you know. mean somebody that sucker punched somebody in the face and, and shattered their jaw is shady? <laughs> That's wild. I can't imagine. Yeah, well, you know, you know, he claims that Gino exaggerated. Well, he claimed all back in the day that Gino was exaggerating all that and all this and that. Exaggerating. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and make you uncomfortable by talking shit about your friend. I'm just. Not, well, I mean, we're not really. I, I mean, I st a former friend, I guess you'd say, right? Like, I don't talk to him anymore. Uh, and um, so I, I had gotten into some controversy. Uh, uh, on cozy.tv long story uh, and he's like well I don't want to piss these guys off Ralph and so I can't really I don't know about coming on anymore and I was like what the fuck like are you serious dude like I'll back you up to like a felony trial and all this and you're telling me that like that's kind of that did kind of offend me uh, if I'm telling the truth right like it's kind of not really a bro maneuver right uh, yeah. but um, anyway I, I won't trash him personally or anything but um, I'll leave that to you guys <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, um, also Chrissy Mayer. So it's funny. Uh, I have a long relationship with her as well. Uh, and uh, Chrissy you Mayer. You were quite untoward to her at a time. Yeah, that's true. Right? But th yeah. that's true. But that's true. But uh, Chrissy Mayer used to come on my show uh, back in like 2019, 2020. Uh, and before she really like hit the big time, she was on the kill stream several times. She was on kill stream karaoke, which was a huge show. Uh, that we had and um she was well i show. believe she's over it i don't yeah. want to speak for her but and she doesn't really think of you much and i think that first well, of you asked me and i believe you apologized to her so I that's, did. that's yeah i did and uh no offense but i like she doesn't pop into my mind a lot either right like yeah I, <laughs> you know but what i mean like i, I don't sit here oh, you don't okay. pop into hers either i don't think right so yeah i don't uh but uh you know it was just one of those things um uh, I forget. It was just a, a nasty affair, I guess you could say. Uh, a lot of people were sending in a lot of hateful lies and things about my mom and stuff like that. And she, uh, was, she okay. was she was reading them, and then it was like, um, eventually, it's like, okay, you, you had an inappropriate emotional reaction. Yeah, and then to, and then okay. once I hit the fan, it was just like whatever. She thought that I did that, like on purpose for promo for myself or, or whatever it wasn't it was just me like i just like sn snap basically uh <laughs> and hearing oh. these comments uh and then went off on her and it's it's uh it's wild because i i think i might have told this story before but uh uh she lost her mother uh i, th I think it was her mother uh mm -hmm. when she was around uh my age about the same age when i lost my mother in mid 30s yeah. right uh, and it's it's different. I know your mom's still alive because I see you broadcast mm -hmm. with her sometimes. Um, My co-host, yes. yes, right. Really? And yeah. um, it's different because um, you know you expect to have your parents longer than that, right? Uh, and so uh, you never know what will happen, right? Some people lose their parents when they're twelve or two or something. So you know, I guess I'm blessed in that way, but um is you your know, dad still alive no my, both my parents are di died my oh, dad you probably said that though. yeah my dad died in 2019 and my mom died in 2021 so sorry uh, to hear that yeah well, that'll well, do well thank you to it's 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 a it's a different life i said this yesterday um it, life's different when your parents are gone it's a totally different existence uh and you know i still got my uncle my dad's brother dad's brother and uh you know i'm still got some family but not much and uh when your parents are gone uh it's a totally different uh it's just life is not the same uh yeah no i can't imagine i'm best friends with my parents so yeah, yeah. yeah. and i you're blessed i cannot uh, imagine yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, That's it's just a totally different existence um but uh let's talk about different things uh instead of downers uh well i don't know maybe this is a downer too but uh 
Aaron Emholt. Uh, what are your the toe? Oh, the toe. Boy. The toe. Another win for the toe. Uh, now, so you guys um, were collabing, I guess you could say, uh, with him uh, on his show, and um, you know, on there. I don't know about a lot, but fairly often, right? Uh, in May, maybe uh, April, May, somewhere around there. Uh, and, um, of course the stuff with, uh, the Ricadas blew up and, and April and, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty much fully, you know, team Ricada. I think that's obvious, uh, at this point. Oh uh, yeah. You guys are buddies. I, yeah. I saw you in, uh, saw you, I guess in that, uh, picture in, with, in uh, that with photo. Them. Yes. We, we, yeah. uh, we all had dinner, uh, and April was there and she quite lovely, uh, actually. She is uh, lovely. Yeah. And, um, I think she gets a, a, a bad rap from some people. Uh, I am. Uh, I've always defended her, and I get shit on for defending her. But I do too from my audience sometimes. Some yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but she's really, uh, really personable and uh, effervescent. And she I looks guess. great. I, I hate anybody making fun of that picture, saying she doesn't look good. She looks well, amazing. Well, I will say this: in, as a gentleman, uh, she is quite attractive uh, in person uh, and in yeah, pictures yeah. as well. And uh, she, she's like. Oh wow, she, this she's pretty, right? You know what I mean? Like she's when you say, like, "Why do you think I wanted her in my wedding party?" Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, she's like she, I want she, her in there because I love she her. Does, um, she does. Um, she she pops. I guess you you know what I mean. Like you're like, whoa, okay. Uh, she's attractive, uh, and that's not putting anybody else down. But um, I, you know, I'd never met her before, uh, and uh, I don't know. I was there uh, at the omnibus hearing, and it was full of Kiwi Farm uh, faggots and losers, and yeah. basically it was a member of their uh, the Ricada family and and me, uh, and I was like the only one. It was. Full, I don't know anything about. Um yeah, yeah well, I, whatever, well that was but. the well it was full of kiwi farmers there doing their reports and all this stuff and me uh and a member <laughs> of of um Ricada's family and i was actually walking up and down the hallway before the hearing and um all these kiwi farmers they know me and they stalk me as well right so uh and i'm like just kind of fucking with them right just walking past why do they all. hate you well that's a long story their boss told them to <laughs> basically oh God. um josh moon told them to uh they used to love me but uh they used to love nick too uh and so that's how it goes if you get on the wrong side of josh moon uh they won't like you anymore and so that's kind of how it goes i don't know but, who that is either but i'll take your word for it all right so he owns kiwi farms uh so Okay. Um, but um, I was walking up and down the hall, and then uh, I did my turn, and then there was Nick Ricada, uh, and it shook my hand, uh, and um, ended up walking into court. And Kayla was there with him, and she gave me a big hug. And uh, I don't know, it was really nice, actually. Um, felt like it was offering a little support, especially. What made the, you the go hospital. there? Did they know that you were coming? Or you yeah, were they knew like, I was coming. Yeah, yeah okay. they knew I was coming. And the, what made me go there was because. Josh Moon, who I just mentioned, uh, had sent out uh, his goons. Like he put out a message to Kiwi farmers go to this hearing, uh, and so I basically knew there would be no pro Ricada uh, or even just like unbiased take uh, from the hearing unless I went. And so I went and took notes, and I didn't lie about anything I saw or anything I did. Uh, and gave a, a court report basically uh, ended up being a wild trip where did you have I, like the machine like a court reporter no no like no I just, I just did you draw shit. them did you draw the scene i want i wish if i was an artist i would have tried to do that i honestly wish i could have done that um you but, have done the freaking six people drawing of it that would have been absolutely hilarious like april upstairs like this is <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> that would have been great. You know, April actually wasn't at the hearing. So huh. she she wasn't at the hearing itself. Um, she just came to support after. Too. Yeah, yeah. She she came to support after. Um, but um, I don't know. It, it felt good because everybody else there was hostile toward him. You could feel it in the room, right? Uh, and uh, Kayla Do you think that the, maybe that's just what you think uh, no. everyone thinks about you? Or they were like no, dagger knives at no, you, man? No, they were hostile towards Nick and me, uh, for sure. How so? Well, I mean, it's Kiwi Farms. You know, like what's going on over there, or like. No, I don't know. I just heard it was like a Reddit. They're just trying to expose the truth or something. I, I, I don't know what. I don't know. But well, they have a six thousand page thread on Nick Ricada. Uh, six thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so, uh, and it's massively, I would say, 
uh, about 99% anti ricada uh, Oh, and, boy, yeah. And so, There's a lot of anti ricada people. Yeah, yeah, and so everybody else in the room, minus maybe, you know, one or two uh, local press or something maybe, uh, were, mm -hmm. like, anti ricada And all these kiwi farmers hate me too, right? So, like, yeah, it was that type of feel. Uh, like you're uh, the, Yeah, you could sense yeah, the... You, the, yeah, the, yeah, the really vitriol. Could. Okay. You okay. really could feel it. Yeah. Uh, and they all had their own notepads too and taking their, of course, theirs was schizophrenic. Uh, I won't go into it, but uh, they posted them on Kiwi Farms after. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just decided to go up there since they all, uh, they all said they were going to. And so I did. And then I took photographs of some of them while they were walking out of court because they like to Did you fly there? Up. Yeah, uh, I did fly there actually, yeah. Um, <laughs> and you know what's funny is I lost my pa I lost my pa I live in Mexico. Uh in You do? Yeah. I love Mexico. Wow. All right. Where in Me well, I guess you don't want to say no, where. That's fine. I, they they don't know uh what part of town I live I, I live in Merida uh, uh in Mexico. Do you do you know where that is? Uh, no, but I uh I spent many many uh uh, weeks of summers in uh, Acapulco. <laughs> from me and my mom would always go there before they started started That's chopping people's heads off. Now, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Cancun, obviously. Who doesn't love Cancun? You know. Uh, so wow. Cancun, okay, that's cool. Cancun is about uh, three and a half hours away from me, so driving distance. Uh, and I've been to Cancun many times. Um, uh, Don't tell my mom; she'll show up at your door. She <laughs> loves Mexico. I, I love. Mom. I do love Cancun. Uh, Bacalar is also a great spot, uh, not too far away. Uh, Quintana Quintana Rao uh, is the state that Can Cancun is in. I live in the Yucatan uh, and in in Merida, which is the safest city in. Merida. Mexico. So, ah, um, wonderful. So, yeah, I live in Mexico. Uh, my Spanish is not very good, uh, but uh, I was about to ask if you speak Spanish. <laughs> not really, no. Uh, but I know a few things and uh, enough to get by. They kind of think it's funny, uh, the gringo walking around not knowing Spanish anyway. Uh, so, it's not that big a deal. I my mom like always it. told me she was like, Popote means straw. And that the last time I was in Mexico, I was like, Un popote, por favor. They're like, Oh, what? You mean straw? <laughs> like, yeah, just, yeah. like, oh, okay, fine. My pronunciation is incorrect. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I was I was trying to get a um, it was a a, a glass basically, right? Uh, and I was trying to I said it in Spanish. There's like a Spanish word for it, and then and then they they go, oh, you mean glass? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. Can I just get a glass? Oh, please? you mean glass? Yeah, 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 like, fucking perfect. yeah, yeah. yeah great. <laughs> well, fuck me for trying to speak Spanish to you. Yeah, I know. I was trying to do it the right way, but um, it, it just didn't work out. But uh, I don't know. I really do need to learn Spanish, and I know I'll say that a million times a day. But uh, I'm gonna get it sooner or later. Um, but, uh, yeah, I live close to, uh, to Cancun, tons of beaches around here. Um, Chechen Itza, uh, is, I know the, I've definitely heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the eight wonders of the world. I've been there. It's where so. the ruins are, right? Yes. Yeah. The Mayan yeah, ruins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is Mayan country. Uh, Mexico city. I love as well. I've been there a few times. Uh, but to finish my story, I, oh, yeah. uh, lost my passport on a trip to see my son, uh, who lives in Southern California. And so I lost my passport, but I have a passport card. So I can't fly directly to a United States city without a passport. But what I can do is fly to Tijuana and walk across the border with a passport card. Uh, and then master hold on, here's a $1 super chat. I'll let that go through. Everyone here. loves Ralph. If anyone says anything yeah, cross about him, you can rest assured they're a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Where am I? I feel like I called Beetlejuice three times. This is so unsafe. It's the kill stream. It's, it's wild. But but what you can do, so the passport card, um, it's only good for, like, I think the Caribbean islands to uh, enter there. And then um, the land Are crossings. you an American citizen? How, yeah. Why don't yeah okay so well i'm gonna get my passport replaced I, but, but i mean i have no like the only time i go to america besides the ricada thing is to see my <laughs> son right in southern okay. california so i can just use my passport card so you uh, go to see your son and then go to just draw like court scenes in minnesota well That's, that was kind of a special reason. yeah that yeah. was a special uh sojourn there but how i got there was sojourn, I, great word yes <laughs> yeah my, my i got some words i'm pretty high <laughs> vocab uh but uh yeah so i flew to tijuana uh walked across the border and then uh, is that legal yeah with a passport card oh with the passport card so you I have a passport card you... just not yeah. a passport 
So hey, but you, you're not crossing the border illegally. You're not going nah, like a. It's no, like, no, I've no, never no. heard of anything like this. Sorry. <laughs> no, so well, there's two different things. So there's a passport and there's a passport card. Uh, and the card's only good for land crossings, uh, you know, through Mexico and Canada. Uh, but Do you have like a knapsack and you're like walking across the border with your little passport card. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> that's literally what I did. Uh, you and then, lead a very odd life. Yeah. That's and then, well, I, you know, yeah, I'm eclectic. I, I guess you could say, but, uh, I, once I'm in America, I don't need a passport to anymore. So I went to San Diego san diego airport uh and then flew into minneapolis uh and so that's how i got there uh originally i was just gonna fly to minneapolis and then i was like oh shit i forgot that i lost my passport so i can't do that so i, I, I gotta walk across the border again <laughs> yeah it's not a big deal uh uh if you've been to socal i mean a lot of people walk across to work on both sides of the border like it's really not is there a big deal. line is it sometimes like yeah um uh, but it moves pretty fast right they just kind of glance at it uh semester 33 and then once they on once you walk into Fuck america then like what that. happens you find take an uber to the airport yeah uh that's basically what happens uh, you're cracking me up this is a, <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest shit i've ever heard in my life to be honest it's yeah. just a passport card like they're just two different things like there's passport and passport card uh but like to fly into america you have to have a passport but uh -huh. to walk into america uh just at some card. of the land crossings you can use your card uh and so where did you get the passport card from the same place from the there's a consulate in merida and so uh i got my passport renewed uh and got my uh i just went ahead and got a passport card anyway i didn't think i would need it uh actually but uh you know i'm yeah. glad i got it now because it's the only way i can, can get yes. back uh so in hindsight thank yeah. god right? yeah you hindsight uh, it's, yeah. It's, it's great that i got it yeah so i can see my son but uh how yeah. old is your son he's three years old Oh, he's three. I was thinking because you seem a l little younger. I, I thought you meant like maybe he was in California, like an adult trying to be an actor or something. But he lives what with his mom or something? Yeah, he lives with his mom. Uh, and that's that's a longer uh, story. It's a lot lower there, but uh, we're getting along well now. And uh, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to see him uh, next week actually uh, for my birthday weekend. Uh, and so just walking across the border for your birthday. Yeah. yeah. It's not a big deal to walk across the border. Like I, I know, I just can't imagine it. <laughs> I have to talk to my mom about this on the show tonight because I'm just like, I've never heard of such a thing ever in my life. Yeah, it's but really not a big deal. Um, now it's if, like walking across the Brooklyn Bridge, maybe. Yeah, well, they have a they have a line, no, and like, they kind of just look at your passport card and just let you. It depends on the guard, right? It depends on where you cross. Some of the crossings are a little bit uh, less strict. Some are more strict, but they really just look at your card. And if it's good, they just let you walk on through. Uh, and so that's kind of how it works. It's not, it's not really a big deal. Uh, but once you get through, you know, uh, you have to have transport. So yeah, I just took an Uber. Uh, but I have, I have friends in SoCal too, you know, uh, uh, Dick Masterson's a little too far away to help me out. Uh, he lives in LA, but I have friends in San Diego, San Diego too. So. Where are you from originally? Uh, Memphis, Tennessee, uh, is where, oh, okay. I, where I was born and, uh, lived right across the bridge in West Memphis. Uh, and, I grew up in South Carolina, so I'm from the South too. Well, but. I lived in uh, Greenville, Spartanburg area for about eight years, uh, actually, and went to USC Upstate, where I got my political science degree. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, my brother went to um, USC, uh, the the Columbia. The USC, yeah, 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 yeah. On your degree, it just it's the regular. It just says USC Columbia or whatever. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, I went to USC Upstate uh, there in Spartanburg, and so yeah, I have a bit of experience. I've been to Columbia many times. Uh, uh, my girlfriend I dated for four years. She was from Columbia. Uh, ah, I went to College of Charleston. Oh, really? Uh, That's a really good yeah. school. Yeah, it was nice. Our, um, I don't want it. Well, our wedding's in Charleston, actually, but I won't tell you where. <laughs> okay, about. Yes. But, um, yeah. Charleston's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it is. Place. Gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, what'd you major in? Uh, theater. A uh, theater, really? It's a useless degree. <laughs> I had a my. I mean, it's completely useless. Look at me sitting here now. People always get on me about, uh, like my voice or what have you. I don't have a southern accent because my friend, my, I was born in Chicago, but we moved to, uh, South Carolina when I uh, was one. But when you're on a street, I tend to enunciate. People are like, "Who does yes. she think she is? <laughs> like, what is this?" transatlantic accent i'm like i don't know what how to help well you can kill your southern accent if you want and so um yeah 
like I enunciate like if I'm off air, uh, you know, I'm a little more Southern, but um, you can still hear the accent. It's not like it's gone. You uh, do have it. Yeah. 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 I, I just I, don't because of my parents weren't. They have a yeah. Midwest accent. Yeah. But if I'm around Southerners, I mean, yeah, I could be like, what? Could I could I have a gin tonic place? Like that's that Rock Hill yeah, accent. Yeah. But uh, you kind of can slip into it. It's just not how I normally speak. But certain but, words on air, like, you know, I'll enunciate. Air. Yeah. 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 See, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Their words on air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm from the south. Uh, we'll rise again. It's an one endearing, day it's an endearing uh, dialect. <laughs> so uh, people love a southern accent, but. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's not it's not hurt me uh, with the ladies, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I do. Uh, it's a little bit different. That's not quite as thick as it would be uh, off air or as it used to be. Um, but uh, yeah, I do have a little southern accent. Um, a little bit. It's endearing. Very Matthew McConaughey. What the <laughs> That's the first time I've been compared to Matthew McConaughey. But I will take. You're that. welcome. <laughs> Uh, so what do you, you usually uh, talk about on your shows before I go back into the word kind of stuff? We have, um, so we have untoward Tuesday, which is, um, people call in with their most untoward stories and, uh, um, attempt to win the untoward Rumble. award Say and get oil. put on the untoward board. Uh, Keanu cast Wednesday is, uh, basically, uh, we oftentimes have a guest. Sometimes we don't. Um, and then Kiki in the morning is whatever I want to talk about. So, oh, sorry. My camera. Uh, I was wondering if you. No, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Sorry, yeah. I don't know. Where I, I'm I got. I was scared. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> Kiki in the morning is yeah. I, I will uh just because it's going on right now and I uh knew the toe. I will talk about him a, a bit on uh, Kiki in the morning. I tend to do that Monday mornings. And then whatever I whatever uh comes to my brain, whatever's in the news, reality television news, and everything of the like. And then Thursdays, me and Chrissy have a stream on our ref on our um both of our channels respective channels called nightlife where we watch um people walk around and we critique their outfits i actually saw some of that i think it was manchester yeah. maybe or some yes. other city. yeah I watch we do manchester those. all the time because they're all slobs it's crazy it's, it's crazy uh, how it's, drunk yeah. they get there like in yeah. england just in general like it's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's wild actually um and not that there's not a lot of drinking in mexico as well but uh, right. <laughs> there's a lot of drinking I mean, everywhere actually fuck, but mexico is where i learned to drink i think I, that's why i'm like uh i'm a i can hold my liquor i think because i was young in mexico when i when i would go there and i'm like yeah those were like my party days <laughs> oh and they don't give a shit in mexico either though just... oh you could put your baby at the bar and they would give it a shot of tequila literally like, they don't chat like they don't care at all like they'll yeah. just they'll just serve it up they don't they don't give a shit uh no, and uh i find that endearing uh in a lot of yeah. ways it's um it uh, it can get the best of you though it's a it's a party place right like uh it's gotten the best of me once or twice uh gotten a little too far down the road uh but, I, the uh, only time i've ever thrown up on a on a on a bar uh table was when i was 13 in mexico and then i went <laughs> that's why i was so great in college I, because i was like oh my god <laughs> i i know what this is i was not a sloppy drunk uh ever since then i think i was 13 years old <laughs> Well, also, it's so cheap here, uh, and of course, I'm not drinking now. I'm kind of I'm an alcoholic, I guess you would say, uh, and so I'm, you know, I I'm trying not to drink. Yes, <laughs> yes. Welcome to AA. Yes, uh, yes. My name is Ethan, and I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, um, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm not drinking now, but it's so cheap. Uh, and the Give dollar one second, real fast. Bisconti's calling me. I just want to make sure he's he's good. Okay, Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is everything okay? Hello. Uh, ju uh, uh, I would just um, no. Well, it's up to you. That would be. It's an 18 minute Uber from the. Mm, um. Whatever you want to do, I'm sure you. Well, maybe you should just pick it up so you don't f uh, fuck it up. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Do that then. Sorry. I'm streaming with Ethan. He says hi, and him and Pat Dixon are no longer friends. So. <laughs> All right. Love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Askmaster in chat says, "Say oil." And, uh, oh, oh, that's how <laughs> so oil is how I went. Yes, oil, yeah. right? Oil, but oil. you say you say all oil, oil. <laughs> yes, oil. You fucker, ass master, hey, you bastard. Hey, 
Yes. Say uh, what this is. Say what this is. It's a. It's it's you write with it. Uh, a pen. Pen. Okay. Uh, when I in uh, the Rock Hill accent, it's like a pen. Pen, which yeah, to me there, is there's like a, different pen. dialects across yeah. the South. Yeah, yeah, and I can usually pick them out. Um, so the, I'm what you would, I have the Delta region accent, uh, the ah. Delta Delta twang, uh, yeah. right? Uh, and yeah. it's, it's different. It's a slower accent. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's different. Even um, even like I can pick it out. Uh, like the the Memphis region, the Delta region, uh, and then Mississippi has its own accent. Uh, Georgia and South Carolina, and they're all the, different. They're yeah, all they are, they're all different. Yeah, it's it's completely different throughout. Now, um, M. Holt, you seem to be supporting him uh, a bit during the beginning of this uh, kerfluffle. Uh, kerfluffle. Yeah, I, knew you would, I knew you would like that. Uh, but uh, what? Well, <laughs> you said kerfluffle. More like no clusterfuck, else. I think, would be yeah. a better term for it. But uh, maybe I shouldn't use that. Maybe that's too on the nose. Uh, but uh, what uh, what changed there? We, Gino and I met Aaron in April, and I had n I we had the we met them at the same time. We flew out there to do their show. We clicked with the both of them when they were married. Like, and we flew out there again. They were we asked them both to be in our wedding. Basically, all of this stuff was going on with Aaron, and everybody was saying that, and we knew nothing of it. Every we didn't weren't really watching, but we hadn't really heard from either of them in in a in a while. Um, all of this stuff was happening like. People were accusing, you know, drug use and they're all boning each other. And we weren't really up on it. All of a sudden we get a call from Aaron and he says, everything that the internet is saying is true and looks like we're getting a divorce. He's calling us crying, me and Gino. We're like, uh, really? What? We're like, what are they saying? So then we kind of looked into it and he was like, I just, could you guys fill in on the show for a while? And we were like, uh, yeah, buddy, whatever you need. And then uh, no matter when I would text April, I didn't really hear from her. And I, I mean, probably for good reason, because I was filling in on his show. And the more that we did it and the more he would just dole out truths one by one, you could kind of tell the lies. It would be, he would say, call me and say one thing. And then uh, and we'd be like, oh, fuck, really? Wow, you da 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 And then he would go on a show and it would be even crazier. Yeah. So... We, Gina was even fed up before I was, and we were like, dude, we can't do this anymore. And then shit just hit the fan and whatever. And then he, <laughs> you know, I talked about the, he sent the nude photo of uh, Kayla to Gino. I talked about it on my stream. And then um, I had, a, I had heard from April. Sorry, let me go back a little bit. What really the nail in the coffin for not doing his show anymore. And people want to say I turned, I just did like, I wish Aaron the best, but I don't think he, he does it. He has the mentality of like a nine year old or something. And he's done some fucked up shit and he, you can't trust him. You don't, it's always just lies. So I felt that we were dragged into that. And from what I heard from April, it's all I really needed to know. So I heard some things from her too uh, that changed yeah, my, yeah. Uh, some of my perspective as well. Uh, yeah. And so, um, yeah, I won't go into that. That was all off. Right. And I would never, I'm not going to sit yeah. around and read her. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I but, talked to her in person and yeah, yeah I, I won't go into all that, but uh, definitely yeah, uh, yeah. some stuff there. So, and that left a really bad taste in my mouth. And then I went like, fuck this guy, fuck him. You can't trust him. He, he, he just lies and lies. And, no matter what, I don't know how to feel about the Ricadas one way or the other. I don't know them. I did. I had one interaction with Nick on a stream long ago, but I don't really. Uh, and he has sent me uh, Instagram messages, you know, sort of like explaining or whatever. And I, I don't think he's a. Uh, I think that if it, what is alleged is true, they've made some major fucking mistakes. But. I don't think he's a bad person. And hopefully, I hope that the three of them are getting their shit together. And I think it look from the looks of it, they are. But uh, Aaron is just another story. I, I, I don't know. So then I talked about the, uh, um, just on my live stream, I said, yeah, you know, I think that's fucking awful of you live on the air to send a nude photo of Kayla to Gino. Did I think that they would, you know, that Kayla would report it? No. However, it's well within her right to. So, all of a sudden, yeah, thanks, Toe. Now we're getting calls from uh, <laughs> Officer Da Da Da. 
from St. Cloud just wondering, like, you know, we just want to know what's in the photo. And we just told the truth because we're not going to what lie to the police for Aaron, lie to the police for anybody. Gina and I are just like, this is what happened. Um, this is who it was. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I, I, I pride myself on just trying to just tell the truth. People uh, love to call us. Uh, it gets, yeah. We, but, but he did that to himself. Is now and whatever. In what? my opinion, I told him, so I had an interview with him, and we used to be on better terms uh, when all this first started because I was calling it down the middle. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you about, real quick before I go uh, into that, um, I've known Nick Ricada since 2018. Uh, and I kind of, uh, and he even said this on his own Twitter, I kind of helped him get a start in streaming and having him on my show and Dick Masterson did as well. And a lot of other people. Um, and, um, then we had a huge feud, uh, mm. for like a year or two. Uh, and it was, it got pretty nasty, honestly. Uh, and then I had a, uh, this is why it was, I was so frightening. You seem to feud a lot. <laughs> I've had a few feuds. Yeah, that's true. But, it's okay. Uh, you know, you live and you learn, <laughs> but I had a, I had a, uh, crisis in my personal life, I guess you could say that I can't talk about, uh, legally actually, but, uh, uh, personal, you got caught walking across the border. No, without your passport card. <laughs> no more of a, a relationship, uh, crisis, I guess you could say. Uh, and, um, Again, I can't get into it fully. Yeah, uh, that doesn't sound good, but uh, yeah. okay. Retard sent $5 well, on Rome. Uh, <laughs> Keanu, not, you need to get Johnny Crutches on uh, and get this dude some dating advice. He seems pathetic, lol. Off topic, but maybe later on. Keanu, you need to get Johnny Crutches on and give him some relationship advice. <laughs> yeah, he says he seems pathetic, but that's off topic. Maybe later on. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, I mean, it's not really that controversial, but uh, it turned into be a controversial thing. And uh, anyway, he wished me the best. And, um, you know, it's, uh, uh, I guess. So I, something I about care, your. I have to be careful about... with my words uh, because of uh, legal things uh, going on. Uh, but uh, but a, that, a, a, split, that a split, the... I will say, uh, happened in my life. And so um, he went on Twitter and was like, you know what? I just wish Ralph the best and his family the best and, and this and that. And I messaged him and I was like, man, you know what? I'm just tired of fighting. You know, like we were good friends and there's no reason for this. And uh, and you can't say what caused the uh, the feud with Rakeda? Uh, well, I, I mean, I could. Um, you don't have to, right? but it has nothing to do with your up. legal problems. No, I, I, it, it was just some... I mean, honestly, it was kind of, you know, he was kind of led down that path by Kiwi Farms, in my opinion. And, you know, I got mad about it. And then we started a huge feud and uh, it was dumb. And so oh, okay. he said those he said those nice things about me. And he's like, you know, some things go beyond the Internet. And, you know, I want oh, to, okay. to turn That's out well. Nice. And uh, I messaged him um, just like, man, I'm tired of fighting. Like, let's not do that anymore. And he graciously, you know, he's like, me too. Let's just in that uh, and that was uh april 2023 and so um you know that's kind of how that ended so we we squashed our beef but uh he's been on my show you know a ton of times uh and he so, was just on wasn't he yes Maybe he, he was on yeah um so we we have a bit of a, a of a history but i had m holt on the show and he was doing his media tour and i think we had this, this <laughs> yeah he loved the yeah. media tour yeah. now we had the second interview and we went harder on him than than he got on the kino casino uh and we'd planned it that way and uh he didn't appreciate it very much i don't think but uh yeah well him jesus god yeah, yeah well uh, yeah. we went hard on him and I, I said dude uh if i were you i would just stop talking about all this stuff because um you're digging yourself in deeper and uh, you don't know where this is going to lead, and Rikita's he can't do it. He can't do it. He, it is beyond his. I I don't know. He just cannot shut his mouth. You know, he had to send that photo to Gino, yes, right? Yes. Live on the air, just to prove he didn't like. Look, but somebody loved me too, and she was pretty. See, yeah. Gino wanted nothing to do with that. Nothing. I like, can tell he's like, uh, okay. <laughs> yes, I, yeah, I, yeah, right. yeah, right. He's like, and this is what he said. He said, I told you he's fucking enjoying this too much. Yep. I don't, it's, it's fucking weird. And I'm like, you're right, man. I don't know. So he can't do it. And I know for a fact he's because he can't shut his mouth. And before any of this all happened, I know for a fact he's lost opportunity after opportunity because he can't shut, shut his mouth. 
I know that 100% wholeheartedly. Uh, because he just, he has to say it. He cannot just be demure even. Not even anything legal. Just he's lost things because he's like, well, something big is coming. <laughs> yeah, and like, I, you know, yeah. and I understand, a, you know, a bad breakup and, and you want to get back at somebody. And, uh, you know, I've been there. And that, that's kind of the is, advice yeah. I was giving him. I was like, dude just be quiet like you're you're digging yourself in deeper and you're gonna find out that this is gonna keep getting worse the more you talk about it and you're making it the center of your content uh which uh, you know i have talked about breakups and stuff like that i shouldn't have uh but talking uh, about a breakup is different than talking about um an ongoing legal case. Yeah, yeah yeah it's, it's talk just about not... a breakup all day long fine not like yeah and then <laughs> D then don't commit a crime live on the air. <laughs> what do you think they're gonna do? Like, what? What did he expect to happen? Well, after all he said yeah. and did to them, yeah, of course they're going to do that. Um, right. So right. right and, they, uh, yeah, they sit there and shut their mouths like they should do. Maybe Nick a little bit less than, but th they and they have to just take it. I mean, and he's on every single day, just da -da 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 -da. like. Oh. Yeah, and he said he told me or, or Alex Stein, I think he went on right after. Um, oh, and they yeah, and they yeah, cried together. Yeah, they <laughs> cried together. That was that was really manly. But, I love uh, Alex. But uh, and I, I told him I was like, man, you're just digging yourself deeper. And he swore he was going to stop talking about it. By the way, uh, he didn't do that. A semester uh, thirty-three on, cents one dollar uh, Moral of the story: Don't let other dudes fuck your wife. I know it sounds crazy, crazy, but trust me. me. That, that that's crazy how dare you so. <laughs> also i will go back to the other super chat do you have any dating advice for D johnny crutches I, I don't i don't know him that well um, uh before um they're saying this because uh <laughs> bef uh the toe the other day was giving johnny didn't even from what i could see on the stream he was like johnny has so much to say about about his dating life and uh uh, he's ready to talk about it. He comes on. He's like, I texted you. I told you I didn't really want to talk about this. You said that was fine. And then and then Aaron uh, kind of pulls it out of him and then gives him the most unhinged dating advice. Meanwhile, Crotch is just looking like, I, I, I don't know how much longer I can take this. And I love Johnny. I've had him on my show before. Um, uh, he always has an open invite. He's a good dude. Dating advice for him? Follow your heart, Johnny. That's all. That's good advice, I think. Uh, and also, I see James Gartner sent some Bitcoin. I'll, I'll hit that song uh, once we finish this segment, probably about 10, 15 minutes. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of a, of a, of a, of a question um, following up on that. Um, I don't know. I, it's just, I, I told him what was going to happen, that uh, the more he talked, the worse it was going to get. Uh, and you're making it the center of your content. Now, I've never and done his that. audience doesn't yeah. even have the audience that actually likes him doesn't want to hear about any of it really the the right. Minnesota audience the other people that he's getting are watching ironically to to shit on him yes. so why would you tailor your show to those people like they're watching to just shit on you it's a it's a train wreck That's so correct. why even tailor the show to, to for those people what are the finances of the goal why does he need Why so much money when he's not paying? Goal. Why you know, does he need so much money when he's not paying anyone? <laughs> Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo, <laughs> Kiki Box. <laughs> Beg, 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 shake, shake, shake. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, I have a goal as well. But, uh, like, he <laughs> he's so, oh, I won't use the word I would normally use, but uh, he acts a certain Your goal way. Your is there right there at the bottom of the stream. I've never seen you say, guys, it's going to get rough if we don't make this goal. No, no, well, I, don't. I, say I haven't really watched. I'm not quite sure where, but I've never uh, seen a clip where you say that or anything. I never say <laughs> that. I never say, oh, I, no show tomorrow if we don't hit the goal or, you know, and uh, yeah. oh, we got to hit it. He actually subtracts the, <laughs> the, the payment processor amount from the amount that people donate to his goal as well, which I, I'd never seen before. I was like, that's um a certain type of behavior I, I won't uh, i won't use the word uh but uh i was like wow you actually take the payment processor part out uh like it's like doing math live on air to take that part out i don't mm -hmm. right like it just adds all in right it um, just sits there yeah mm -hmm. um but uh you know i'm not a i'm not anti-goal but uh he really does take it to the extreme uh with with his goal uh and he's got the whiteboard i don't even know i don't know it's, it's kind of weird he my, stole that from me he stole my untoward board and he has terrible penmanship 
He really does. It looks like the penmanship of somebody, like an idiot. I don't know what the hell that is. He needs to go back to the backdrop. I don't know. He's got poor Mike Lindell in there. It's bad. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he's yeah. also a weirdo. Actually, maybe they deserve each other. He seems know. to not be able to write very well. <laughs> I don't know if that's on purpose uh, or what, but like uh, his writing skills are are, are lacking uh, yes. from, from what I've seen uh, on his uh, on his yeah. uh, show. Now, his what penmanship was is as immature as his brain and personality. That's now, let, for sure. let me ask you this: uh, What was your favorite? Uh, moment uh doing the still tell radio show oh my god too many to count nothing it was, <laughs> there was nothing <laughs> oh you mean when he was shitting all over april yeah that was really fun no um <laughs> and i what i shit on him too much because I, I i'll say it once i'll say it again me and gino had a great time with them and i didn't mind doing his show but i woke up to who he is a little bit so i take that back i didn't mind doing it i don't think he's a um a wonderful he doesn't really listen i don't think he listens to johnny just like he didn't really listen to april so it makes it difficult uh favorite part about doing the show i didn't mind like gossip girl thursdays but i had a different mindset then and um uh, no, I yeah, I, I I didn't mind it. I thought I was helping out a friend, you know. So yeah, that was my yeah. And also, right. it's tough because um, you know, you were friends with April at the time too, right? And he's sitting there trashing her, and like you're gonna sit there for that, and it's like right. You know, it's like, oh, it's a little yeah, awkward and there. it does make it awkward, and you don't know what to do, and we weren't hearing from her at all, you know. So uh, since then, and I've heard from her. I'm like, and yeah, back when I, I mean, a few weeks ago when we turned. On the toe, I uh, I'm like, yeah, this is all I needed to know, and but I'm you guys just didn't really like say anything terrible about him. You just kind of disassociated, from what I could tell. Uh, I, yeah, and right. then he turned it up a notch, and it's now he's got revenge porn charges. It's like, dude, if you would have just uh, that might not have even happened, right? Uh, had he no, just uh, been quiet, right? If he had, well, Jesus, I mean, that is so idiotic to do. Did I think that it, and albeit I do find it a bit drastic because there's, there's, you know, there's, uh, th well, how do I put this? It, it's like, he did it live on the air. I talked about it. We told them the truth. When April uh, texted us, I said, yeah, it was just one photo, blah, blah, blah. Did I think they were going to press charges on him? <laughs> uh, no, but um, it's a crime he's an idiot to do that i don't know what he expects to happen so um and yeah i mean the the most vitriol i have is i tease him because he's a moron everybody does right yes but um uh he's also he's a little bit more sinister i think than he is. than people realize yeah and you know that i, I know think, just to say i've yeah. heard again i won't right. get into everything but uh, yeah he's and much it, more sinister really than hard people to, understand Right, it's really hard to watch without saying anything. Yeah, he's, I won't violate yeah, your confidences. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, he, uh, he's, he's much he's more way sinister. worse than people think. So he portrays like, himself as this, an idiot, right? like you know, goofy, silly guy or whatever, uh, and he's. Uh, I believe it's much, way fucking worse than that. Much so. different uh, behind the scenes. Uh, and I'd heard that from other uh, sources beforehand as well. And so. Um, and I like I said from the when I heard from April, it was all I needed to know, and I'm like, look, that absolutely not. So, uh, and that was a while ago, and then yeah, right. So when he's like, I miss Gino, I'm like, he was fed up with you even before I realized you were like a douche. Well, you, you know, know, it's it's, yeah. it's wild because you know, um. And April, you know, she's kind of keeping a low profile, not really uh, talking much uh, about any of this. Right, and, she's um, smart to yes, do so, that's wouldn't right. you say? Yeah. That's right, but, you know, I messaged her when all this broke out because I was reporting on it, like, more, you know, as hardcore as anybody. Uh, and she sent me a quote. Uh, and that's where that original quote came from. Uh, I don't know. I have to go back and look, but uh, she basically said one, one man is responsible for doing this to me. Uh, and... Um, she sent me that quote. That's where that quote come from. I, I didn't expect her to respond. Uh, and, um, of course, you know, that went everywhere all over the Internet. And uh, I think uh, I realize who she's talking about uh, at this point. But 
<laughs> Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo, Kiki Box. <laughs> Bag, 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 shake, shake, shake. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, now, let me ask you, uh, uh, we'll wrap it up this next seven minutes. Uh, what are you uh, most looking forward to about marriage? You're sweet. <laughs> this is not what I expected at all. Uh, what am I looking forward to most about marriage? I'm looking forward to the wedding. Uh, marriage, I, I probably it won't be much different than we're right. already living. Just not boning in sin, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I wish you the best uh, as far as that goes. I've had um, a couple marriages, actually. <laughs> no. So, um, Tino is 24 years older than me. When he passes on, I'll make a really chic widow, and then I'll live second life, <laughs> right? <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, see, you already have you already have the plan. Um, I have a plan, exactly. <laughs> Those hospice nurses are going to love me, Ethan. Great. <laughs> Bye, honey. <laughs> I don't know if I'll see you again, but yeah. <laughs> um, now I did see. I will ask this. I did see he wasn't too pleased about uh, being drug into the uh, the whole um yeah. revenge porn thing uh um, he really does not like that right uh because he didn't ask for any of that no fucking no one did he's like he's an idiot why would he do it why would he do this and yeah i mean it, 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 in a sense we think all four of them are kind of nutty uh but i think my opinion is toe is the worst of them um and i always i have uh always taken up for april and if she made some mistakes she can atone for that, and but Toe is sinister in a different way. Yeah, and so. he really got out there early and and tried to set the narrative uh, in his favor and act like he was the hero and and all this and that. And you know, I, I consider him a snitch and a loser and a and a I agree uh, bastard. Actually, I uh, agree. I tend so. to talk about him on my morning show because uh, it's just, he it's the toe that just keeps on jamming. I mean. He, <laughs> he just, just watching him, it's 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 just a train wreck. Uh, he it's like he's trying to look. It's it, he he has he has dug himself into such a hole. Like I I it's 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 hard to watch, but you can't stop watching it. Yeah, like a train wreck. You can't turn away from it, right? Yeah, I know. Um, awesome. Now we have about four minutes left here. Uh, what's been your favorite part of uh, just getting into the streaming world in general? Uh, you know hanging out with my mom people shit on me for it but the fans that love us really love us and it's like uh i we just hang out together and it's it she makes it so easy because and i'm not on with her all the time but god how many hours now have we spent together just chatting you know so i think that's my favorite part of it now what is your least favorite part of it oh uh, what's my least favorite part of it I don't have a, I don't, I, I love it. I really love it. Um, maybe, I mean, I, I don't even mind hateful comments. It's sort of like the, the meaner people are, I'm like, God, that's diabolical, but that's funny. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't have the least favorite part of it. Uh, every once in a while when, I mean, maybe, maybe the stress, maybe the stress yeah. of, you know, uploading a thumbnail or something that sucks. But other than that, no least favorite part. Well, sounds like you've had a pretty smooth ride, uh, and I've been doing it uh, for a while, about 10 years now. Uh, and so, the 10 years now, yeah, that's 10 years it. now, yeah, <laughs> I can turn up the twang when I need to, yeah, uh, sometimes it just happens. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, I know Thank you, you for having me. yeah, I know I, I, feel, I felt like you were afraid I was gonna like uh, had some type of diabolical plot uh, for you <laughs> or something like that, uh, and nothing could I be didn't feel that way, you. it's just you know uh you get you get you get scared sometimes sure, you know? sure. Like, okay yeah but you seem like a lovely gentleman i hope uh i hope everything works out for you and your um crossing the border issues i hope you get a passport as soon as possible i will well i <laughs> hope they have it at the lost and found honestly that's what i keep hoping there's a border crossing like uh center uh there and i keep hoping they'll have it one day but uh i'm gonna have to go ahead and buy another one i already know whatever <laughs> it's uh, the worst thing but you gotta do it i don't know at least there's a consulate here in merida so it's, it's not hard to do um but oh, um I love it. 
Uh, but thank you for coming on. Plug your stuff again. And uh, we all new cast. Just it's Tuesdays, uh, Mondays in the morning, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Me and Chrissy do nightlife, and I tend to do a cooking stream on the weekend. Subscribe. It's just Keanu C. Thompson cooking or Keanu stream. Thompson. Yeah. What do, you, what do you like to cook? Whatever I uh, feel. That's like our favorite one. And Gino does it with me. It's hilarious. <laughs> and oftentimes it, it's it's a terrible meal. So it's spooky. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wish you uh, both the best of luck and congr Thanks, congrats guys. on your upcoming nuptials. Uh, thank you, darling. And uh, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you. How do I get out of here? Oh, I'll hang up. Ta-ta. <laughs> Ta-ta. <laughs> Keanu Thompson here live on the kill stream. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.